So for some of the broadcasts you want the capability of censoring your feed. So for instance, if someone says a dirty word, profanity, or uh, if a nipple is shown, like what happened with Janet Jackson, you want to censor that uh, with the final feed that you're sending to TV, Twitch, or whatever. It even sometimes is a requirement nowadays for, for instance, national television. So some of the devices that are being used is, for instance, the air cleaner from Ross. Let's take a quick look. So it, it keeps it clean, reaction time compensation. You can pay extra for a 4K HUD. So let's quickly look at this video. So yeah, that's an impression of what the Air Cleaner 2 can do. Um, but let's make our own version with OBS so that we won't have the same functionality, obviously, because this product is completely made for uh, censoring a feed. But let's uh, let's try to, or let me show you how you can do something similar with OBS and a Stream Deck. So yeah, let's first uh, try it out. So we have the program feed that's made in production. and that they were gonna send to a monitor with audio uh, undelayed. And then we're gonna send that same program to a machine that has OBS running on it. It can be either NDI, uh, you can use a deck link, basically anything to get the feed in. And within OBS, we're gonna do a four to two five seconds delay. And we're gonna make sure that there's a stream deck hooked up to the same computer. And then we're gonna send out the feed from OBS to either a tech link or you can just stream it straight out of OBS. Uh, but often you want an encoder in between. And then from the encoder, we send the censored feed um, to whatever destination it needs to be. So how we do this? So what I said, you can do it with any feed. So in this example, I will be using a Twitch stream. And I'm just gonna add that as a browser source. And we want to control the audio through OBS. Let's just make it full screen. So now we have the audio and we have the video. Let's just rename this to Twitch so we can keep track. And then the first thing we want to do is add some delay. 
uh, on the video. So we want to do filters and we're going to add a render delay. So the only thing you can do is 500 milliseconds per render delay, um, but you can stack them. So we're just going to stack 10 of those. So now we have stack 10 of the delays and it's a four and a half second delay. So now we also need to delay the actual audio. So the best way to check if it's still in sync is to just record and check. So let's record. because we already wiped out all those guys. So just waiting for that make its final pass. And we'll make our way to the final stop area. All right, there we go. Now we get to fight Silverman, the gold Mongols. Pretty much make sure he uh, doesn't uh, get to do whatever he wants. And let's make sure he doesn't call that laser of his. Need some breathing room. All right, here we go. All right, now we've recorded for a minute, so let's stop the recording ah, and look at the recording if it's the same as that we just okay. watched. because we already wiped out all those guys. So just waiting for that make its final pass. And we'll make our way to the final stop area. All right, there we go. Now we get to fight Silverman, the gold old Mongols. Pretty much make sure he uh, doesn't uh, get to do whatever he wants. Let's make sure he doesn't call that laser of his. Need some breathing room. All right, here we go. So yeah, that seems to be in sync. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open companion and make buttons to actually mute. So yeah, so we uh, started companion and we need to add OBS. We're gonna add OBS Studio. We need the target IP is our local IP and the target port. So for this to work, you need to have the WebSocket server settings uh, enabled and we need to match the port. In this case, we're just gonna take the default port that is in Companion. And for now, we're just gonna not use a password. need to apply the changes let's see if it's working so now we can actually connect to our OBS so first of all we of course want to just mute the audio 
that we're sending out. So how this uh, how this would work is we're gonna make a new button, audio, and then we're gonna color this red. Oh, this white background red. So now we have a button that we can press on our stream deck that, that we can set to mute the audio and OBS. So in OBS we do. Set, uh, set source mute. And we set the source to Twitch. And now we can see that we have muted the audio of this uh, delayed feed. Uh, you can, of course, make it a key up of actions, but I'm more in favor of making separate buttons of unmuting. So here we're just gonna do unmute audio. I'm gonna make that green. Maybe that we can actually read it. And set source mute. Source is Twitch and we unmute it. So now if we press that button, we unmute the audio. So next up would be actually making a blackout. So if video and audio needs to be muted, then we're just gonna make a new scene. Now we can just call it blackout. And of course you can do different things in here. You can do a PNG, you can do a music, whatever. I trust that you know a little bit about OBS. Um, but sometimes you just want a full blackout. So let's make also that button for that. And we're gonna change it to blackout. So if we're on this scene, we're now on blackout. So we're sending out a black screen, but of course, add whatever you want here uh, and also for this we need to make a separate button to go back to our previous scene let's call this all good so now we can black out, black out the stream and we can go back to it a stream ended so we'll add a different stream in the meantime so i found another streamer uh, and next up we need to install a plugin for obs uh, so that we can blur the actual stream if you only want to take out the video uh, i will install it and be right back so lastly we're going to set up a blur function so that's why we installed the stream fx uh, you cannot just apply it on this source because then it will always be on that source. But what we can do is make a group called it blur. And then we can duplicate Twitch, put it in the group and then apply it on the filter on the group. So we go to filters, add, we do blur. And then we can make a nice blur. Let's do a caution and close. So now if we on and off, we can actually just blur out the video. So let's see how we can trick it out. No. So uh, the visibility is off, so let's make a regular button. Do a scene item. We're gonna go to the scene and we're gonna go blur and we do visible true. So, this blur. Now, if we press blur, it is blurred out. So, now make a second button. And blur. Do scene. Item visibility. Scene. Blur. And we do false. So, now if we press unblur, it will unblur the stream. 
little bit of buffering on my side doing other things as well and yeah that's basically how you can set everything up so now you can either output this feed over a deck link um, um, you can stream it with, uh, with with actually censoring the feed uh, basically what you want so how to set uh, how to work with this is look at the actual undulate and while you're looking at the undulate and you see something happening that needs to be blurred out you press the blur key on the stream deck wait until you think it's uh, five you always need to think five seconds and then you press um same with the audio and the same with the blackout Just as a good note, this is of course just a hacky way of doing it. Um, best, it's always better to have dedicated hardware uh, to sensor a stream because then you, it's it's way more stable than doing it this way. 